Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Dell laptop. This is a Latitude 3350 model. And this one came in uh, with a problem not powering on. We have uh, removed the battery in order to check the power state of the laptop. We have the original Dell charger here. We plug it in. The LED uh, ring light stays on. That means that there is no short, uh, zero ohm short on the motherboard. But when we press the power button, the LED power on state lights up for a few seconds. It turns off, as you can see here. And uh, let me show you with my bench power supply. Let me switch to my mobile camera here. And let me show you. And if I press the power button, it goes to 350 and goes down again. So something is switching on and switching off all the time, as you can see on the amp meter. So, okay. So I'm going to. Uh, open up the laptop and see inside what's going on. So stay with me. I will disassemble the laptop and I'll be back. This is a pointless video, uh, but I'm going to post it anyway, just for a future reference to anybody who has the same problem. Okay, what I did after removing the, the bottom cover, it's just measure, you know, the input circuit here. I had the 19 volts and the, the, the LEDs were blinking again, the same thing. Then I, uh, I removed the BIOS battery just to reset the BIOS in case we have a frozen BIOS or something. I put the battery back and uh, w once I, I plugged the power cord, then the LEDs were starting blinking and indicating that there was a problem with the battery. The battery was blinking uh, five white LEDs to uh, amber LEDs. So I placed the battery inside, uh, I put my bench power supply and the battery was not charging. I removed it, I placed it again and then it started charging. So actually what happened here, we had the frozen BIOS and the, the battery was completely uncharged. So it needed some, I don't know, wake up just to have the initial charge of the car and, and then start uh, charging. And if we notice here, if I measure here on the current sensor resistor of the battery, you can see, let me switch the probes. You can see that the battery is charging. If I leave the probes on, you will see the voltage is going to uh, scale up. You see, 86. Eight seven. All right. So the the laptop is charging. Let's try it now. We have a constant. If you see here, a constant LED on the battery. The blue light that indicates that the but the laptop is charging. So now it should work. So there was no serious problem with this one. If I press it now, no, the battery again starts flashing. So we might have a case here. All right, the battery flashes five whites, two umbers. Okay, let me let me leave it a little bit to charge. Let me measure again. Yeah, it charges. So I will leave it for a couple of minutes and I'll be back. So I'm back. Uh, the the battery charged. 
Uh, I checked the LED blinking codes and the five whites and the two ambers were, has something to do with memory error. So what I did, I switched actually the dim. This one uh, is fitted with a four gigabytes DDR3 memory. So I switched it from dim A to dim B and the laptop started as you can see. So there was no serious problem with this. There was a frozen BIOS initially, the battery was totally discharged and uh, probably this spiked some random errors about memory which w once I uh, switched the memory module to the second uh, DIMM B slot, the laptop uh, started. So I think, uh, I think this video is pointless because the, it's not a serious technical problem to show you here. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's a kind of a method to just troubleshoot and uh, start digging around to see what's going on with the laptop. So anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, uh, on the next video, I will see you again. Ciao, bye.